Hi everybody, this is the Gaming Granny and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to just do a little tutorial on Thralls. Um, I've got my character here, her name is Ayla and she is coming to the pagoda of Boundless Lusts to get some Thralls. Now I'm using the mod called um, Catch and Carry, so I am um, reviewing it for everybody so that they know how and what to do. To catch a thrall, you need three things. You need the binding rope, which I've got in slot number one. You need the skinning tool, which is in slot number two. And you need something that will not kill them, no weapon. Um, it would probably be a truncheon would be the best. You can craft it. Um, but I am using um, a truncheon that I found in one of the um, dungeons and this one is actually says it does not kill all right so we're off to this pagoda of boundless lusts to see what we can find it is heavily armed it has lots of okay this is a fighter level two several that are unconscious here. Oh, some of them are dead. Wow. Okay. Um, so to start off with your, the thrall, you find one that's unconscious and you select your binding, which is the number one. So that's a dancer. Um, that fighter is dead. Carpenter. 
Jesus, dead. Dancer, I've got a dancer, I've got a fighter. So let's take the fighter. So you first have the binding in your hand, which is on number one. Then you press E to bind it. Okay, so now it is bounded. Now you can drag the person like you like be by default where the person is is coming on after you. You can see I'm dragging someone behind me. Let's just get away from these people that are Now that's the default method is to actually drag them. You bind them and you drag them. Now with this mod, which is a must have, I, I would highly recommend it to everybody who plays the game. him bound again now you put that skinning tool which I just use on the bird into your hand you look down at your victim and you stab them with the skinning tool you will see that they are now gone but the binding rope is still attached to the ground just close off your binding tool number one put away your skinning tool number two now if I go into my inventory will see there's my fighter in my inventory so now what you do you, you don't have to worry too much about having to fight a whole lot of armies of different um, beasts and people now you can run off home so I'm just going to as I said I've prepared in advance so I can keep on going to that bordello of lusts to get victims or thralls for my for my um, base so let's just run back to the to my base
then you go to your wheel of pain that you have selected I put two down so that I can explain things to you how to do it you open up the wheel of pain you look down at it wrong one open up your wheel of pain so that it's open go down to the person that you've just found click on them so it's highlighted see it's highlighted here now you're going to hold down your shift and the letter Z shift and Z Shift and Z. Now you will see that the person is now inside the wheel of pain and then you press on. Now I do recommend that the gruel that you make, which is made from seeds and the, the seeds, these seeds, no not the lotus seeds, seeds and that plant fiber makes gruel. Make sure that you put in a hundred, it will be more than enough so that you don't have to stay at the base waiting for them to, to actually um, become tame. You can go do other stuff and they will still be here when you're finished. Okay, as you can see, he's working away at his wheel. I'm just going to go and get some more gruel. I have put some inside the thrall pot because it keeps everything fresher. So let's take out a hundred. That's like fighters and archers and that um, everything can come to these wheels and tame them. Now on this wheel I have one is the, which is already tame. You open it up, you select the thrall that is being tamed. In this case it's a dancer. Drag them, put them in your inventory. Go down to where you want to put them. Because they're a dancer, they will undoubtedly be using these dance mats, the thrall dance mats that I put down. So let me open up my inventory. Take the dancer. Before I put them there, I want to actually take them to the barracks. Now in the barracks, this, this is, these are thrall breads, which comes with the mod. So I'm going to put the thrall here. Then I'm going to just E to click on them and I'm going to give them a name. I don't know what his name is. It's just... Uh, Oh, um, let's call him Sten. Okay. There is it. Now I'm going to take him. I'm going to hold uh, hold him down E. Let's go back there. If I hold hold your E down, this wheel pops up. You will see the uh, one an option that says follow. So you follow. Click Look at the, the thrall bed, press E, hold it down so that the wheel pops up. Don't just click, if you click it does nothing, you must hold the E down. Go to leadership, click on leadership, go to assignment, assign bed. And a little message will pop up saying Sten is assigned successful. Just press E to get out of there. Look back at your thrall, hold down E. Go back to follow. Ah, oh, sorry. Stop following. So he's no longer going to follow you. Now, part of that mod is, is 
it offers us, you get a general desk and it offers a desk. If you click on the desk, just a normal click, you will see a whole this comes up. But in the beginning you will have nothing, nothing, nothing here. So what you need to do, go back out and you just You hold your E, this comes up. It's like a, me like a menu. Here is, um, it looks like a radar beacon. Click on the radar beacon. Go to the largest one, I recommend, and click on it. And then now it will it'll actually scan your whole base in a certain radius and it tells you that there's eight beds that are here. Close it with E. Now if you just one click on the E, just quick click, this comes up, then you press the update button. When you press the update button, the new person who I just put into that assigned the bed will now be listed on here. See, we've got Lem, we've got Dan. Scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. There is Stan. Yeah, here's Stan. If you click on the, it looks like a magnifying glass, it brings up all Stan's things over here. Now, training. Um, he did have daggers in his in his inventory, so he will obviously therefore be um, working with strength. And um, idle social will be done. So I'm going to tell you how to set that up now. And patrol, I'm just not. He hasn't got a, a patrol. Just press apply. Now, if you look at stints, he's got three things morning, afternoon, and evening. So, in the evening, he won't be patrolling because he's not a guard, so he will probably be sleeping. Um, during the afternoon, I say he would be dancing, which will be the idling one, and the morning. You can say training so that you can better his fighting skill. Okay, and then we close. Now that's your that's your thralls. So those are the movable thralls. These thralls here, which you get, which is like the carpenter, the armorer, the cook. These ones you have to actually, once you have tamed them, you have to actually go to the item, in this case the stove, and you pop them in the little box. So here's the cook, she's a, she's a cook level one, I've popped her into the box. And then she will stand there and perform some animations and just, you know, make the place look a bit more lively. Same with this, this carpenter here. I go to the carpenter's bench, pop it open. There's a carpenter stuck into the bench. So he will do some animation. Okay, here, um, Sten is now performing um, to his assignment. So he will just entertain here. So if you ever get, um, you do get buffs from the entertainment there. You can see on, the, on my top left, an entertainment buff. So if I get contaminated, when you go to areas where, are com where you get contaminated, you just have to come here, and come sit on the bench, wait for the person to come and do their dancing, and um, once the dancing is, you've been watching for a little bit, um, it'll actually cure you. Right, now let's talk about assignments, how to place assignments. In the actual artisan bench, which I put over here, you'll see a bunch of things for the thralls. There's the archery target, you have the different beds, depending on the, uh, the, the bed, the basic bed, you can go to better beds, or just a, um, a mattress on the ground, it's up to you. Um, Here's a grit carpet, that's for animation, so that when they when they are practicing their strength techniques, they will use the carpet as a, a means to activate the, 
and emanations. Okay, here's the general's bench and the officer's bench. These are most important for getting your group of people at the base to, to do the performances. Now inside, you will also have, see these papers, you will have a, um, an idle order, a patrol order, and a sticky note. Plus, you will have a training beacon. So what you do is you craft up two training beacons, one for archery, one for the strength training. Craft up two sticky notes, or more, it just depends on yourself. Um, craft up, I'll, I say, two patrol orders, and um, the idols, we'll come back to the idols later. Okay, so now while you, once you've got that, you go to your base and you put outside um, the training dummy, put outside the mats, here's one mat, the big mat is like um, all rolling techniques, like tumbles and rolls, the one that looks like grass is a different emanation, like they do press ups. Okay, so I put down everything and then near them, I put down a banner. Now if you click on the banner, hold, click on the banner just once, change the name of your banner. So this one is for the strength training. Just change the name of the banner, close it. Now hold the E so it comes up. Here again is your little radar beacon. You click on it. Now everything is quite close. So this time when I clicked on it, I said set it for close because I don't want to catch any anything else that's an animated around too close. So if I click on this, it should pick up the three the three mats and the training dummy. So it says they're suitable places for. Okay. Over here, I've put down two archery targets and I, I stuck down a banner and I did the same thing. One quick E. I changed it to archery, hold the E, scan it with the radar, make it small so it only picks up the two archery benches, targets. Okay, T2. Fine. Once that's done, you go to the bench, the officer's bench that you place down, <coughs> click on it. All you people that are assigned here, you click on the individual magnifying glass. Now this guy, he's an archer, so I go here, I choose archery, and I fly. Idle, we'll come back, we'll come to that later. Then we'll talk about patrols now. So you do that for each, each individual. So for anyone that's wielding swords or clubs, you select the training dummy. See, look here, here. Perfect example. They're working on their strength. This archer, he's actually on patrol. So he, I have created a specific patrol just for the archer, and that's what we're going to talk about now. Let's start. I'm going to let's craft up one patrol, one sticky note. Oh wait, let's just wait for that to be finished. already 
again. Because it normally, it normally um, prints five at a time. Okay, let's go back. Now, to do the patrol, as I said, you put the patrol note into your toolbar. Um, this is for PC. Xbox will work differently, I think. Okay, so now I'm going to decide how I want to make a patrol. Where do I want my person to walk? Okay, so I'm looking around. Um, I haven't as yet made a patrol for the entertainer. And I think that... Um, so let's see, they're going to be coming out of the barracks. So let's start from here. So where I'm coming out. I now press number two, and you see it pops up, patrol point number one. So they'll come from here, then because this is an entertainer, they will walk to here, brief stop, every time I'm pressing number two, it, it's like a stop point. Come over here, as if they're going to be looking at the flowers and plants, press number two. At point number three, come down. Now I don't want them to walk into the actual fire pit at the bottom, so let's. I uh, think maybe stop here. Let's go one more. Stop here. Number two. Turn. Come here. Point number five. Come along the passage here. Stop in case there's someone playing archery. Point number two. And then I won't have to do the beginning one again because obviously that will be going back to the beginning. Right. So now that the patrol route has been done. I open up my inventory. As you can see, there's sticky notes on the on the wall already. I've actually put one up here ready for the dawn, dance patrol. So you stick the sticky note up on the wall. You change the name. In this case, the dance patrol. I've already stuck it on there. And I take the patrol piece of paper out of my toolbar, drag it up, and put it into the slot. And then I close. So now, from now on, when the dancer does the patrol, they will do that same route I've just done. Okay, so that's basically the thrall and the, the mod catch and carry together. So that you can see um, what you need to do in order to get your thrall working in the base, looking around, Oh, I actually forgot, um, there is an option to change the clothes, you can physically, physically go into them like this and just drag and slot in what you want on these characters, um, add on accessories, look at the whole thing that you want to add if you want to give them accessories etc etc. Um, let me just go back. yet but if you put put down this fashionist it gives you the option to, to um, put down a mannequin and 
if you on that mannequin if you dress it in an armor uh, or whatever you want your thrall to wear click on the actual table and automatically by default will change every person on base to be wearing that and because I don't want to do that because obviously you don't want the dancer to wear armor um, I've just left it out for the moment I hope this has been helpful um, I will do some more tutorials in depth tutorials at a later stage but just for those who have been battling on this mod because I saw there was a lot of comments posted on the actual mod that I thought it's um, it's better that I actually do one for the community and also in that sense help the mod, mod um, the modder who created the actual mod. Um, right, I'll catch you later. Have a good day. Good night. Where you are?